third attempt or maybe fourth attempt because I'm I'm gonna go with third because a short one that I uh, lasted did not count because it was like three seconds and something went wrong with the network so apparently hoping it's actually working now uh, yeah we're just gonna dive right into this and I'm gonna say this for the I, I don't know I'm just gonna say it out loud uh, for the live stream today we are gonna do uh, three games in one live stream so we're gonna do uh, this game we're gonna do uh, Dead by Daylight and I am gonna think about going back to Emily Wants to Play 2 uh, that was a pretty good game with the whole chase thing and hopefully it might do well And apparently it's like whenever the when I get out of the chat party there is something wrong with it like there's something wrong with the network so yeah stock council escaping in the car by standing in front of it and that death right there is just so brutal oh my god what is that a pole Oof. that's a sandwich right there <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stop making that joke so if I stop talking during the stream just like I did with the other one uh, it means that um, apparently I just got out of the party chat so that would suck so which is that part 3? part 7? I have no clue but we are gonna we are gonna go into this. Oh boy! I gotta get out of here now. Hey! Welcome, survivors. Even though you can't hear me, la di da. Oh, are we? Oh, I'm gonna check every drawer here. Really, you're gonna do that? this up that way you can use it to escape wrong one oh he's, oh he's inside oh boy hey, there's a quicker way to get maps right here Okay, I think he teleported inside the house. Okay, so I got nothing. Uh, I think they're dead. Yeah, I think they're dead. Really? No. Oh yeah, this is definitely lethal. I don't know how that would happen, but okay. What are you screaming for? Nothing happened. Oh, he's here, isn't he? Oh. Okay. Hopefully, he doesn't come and find me. already have that one. Uh, what? Okay. So yeah, I saw... Ooh. Excuse me. Okay. So I saw a trailer for the new game that came out. Uh, it was called the Blackout Club, which actually looks really good. Kind of reminds me of. Uh, Copy on the road, therapy. Four 
Go switch. It kind of reminds me of a mixture of Dead by Daylight and uh, this game. But it looks so good, though. Yeah, let's use that one. <laughs> let's put it right in front of the door. Uh, no. Let's put it right... Oh. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're the uh... Ah. me. Okay, so the camera is really weird. Uh, oh, this... No! I went in, I went in, I went in, I went in. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Oh, bastard! No, no, no. Just stop. Where the hell is this guy going? Oh, he's deserting us. And now I hate him. You real little bastard. Oh, I... Damn it! Just die! Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Get, get, get. Dude, quit moving your fat, lazy. Oh, hi. Oh, nice. You're just gonna leave. Okay, so where the hell are we going? Oh, she's turning around. Get in the freaking car. Okay, what is this person doing? I, I don't get what the hell's going on. Uh, come on, there's gotta be something that says, uh... Okay, so you're alive, you're Motor City Beast. Uh... What the hell is... What is he doing? Uh... Okay, this is all confusing. <laughs> oh! So Mortar City is trying to get away from. Oh. Come on, get away from. Yep, that's the one. Sorry, we're gonna have to leave it without you. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, where's Jason? No! Oh, Jason must be, uh, what are you trying to do? Oh, oh damn. No. Oh, help her, help her. Damn it! Oh, oh damn. Holy oh, shit. Please. No, 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 no. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> they killed me. Those bastards. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god. At least they escaped, hopefully. Oh my god. They fucking killed me. Keep going. Where is he? Oh, who the hell? Really? Who else is here? There's no one else. Oh. Just go already. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, there's the police. Really? You couldn't just go for it. Oh, damn. What is it? What is Motor City doing? What just happened? Are the other... Are the... Uh... Why isn't this person going away from Jason? Go to the freaking cops! There you go! Yep, there you go. Yeah. Oh my god, that scared me. Yep. Oh. No. Run, 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 run. Just go already. Jesus. Thank you. Yep. I died. Okay. Come to mommy, Jason. Since that was Come bullshit, I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> it was pretty bullshit. Oh. All right. Fortnite guy, you kidding me? <laughs> Oh boy. Alright. So, of course, we're gonna to to find another one. But this might take a little longer than I expected. Uh, a nice cold beverage. Counselors, hiding counselors, destruction of property. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Mm. As a counselor, your goal is to survive. Yep, uh, mini map, uh, fear and avoidance. That's one of the issues a counselor will have to deal with while playing. Fear is direct results. Uh, being isolated and being in the dark. Discovering a dead body will also increase fear. The more fearful you are, the easier it is for Jason to sense you to uh, mitigate and reduce fear. The counselor should find lighting building, lighted buildings, hide in various hiding spots, stick close to other counselors, and reduce your noise as much as possible. The quicker you run and the faster you open doors, the more noise you create. Oh, great. Uh, the user interface displays stamina as well as which depicts as you run and jog. That's also bullshit. Repairing vehicles, uh, the phone box and electric box is crucial to reducing and gaining. Reducing fear and gaining means to escape. Each time you attempt to repair an item, a small mini game will start. The higher your repair stat, the quicker you are at repairing. In the repair mini game, you must hit the display button that is prompted when it appears. Success means quicker repair. Failure will create noise that notifies Jason. Ah. 
Uh, cars require battery and gas to be filled before the car keys can utilize. Uh, let's see, uh, which one's the boat? Keep in mind, Jason can stop you if you aren't paying attention. Boats can also be repaired with gas in the propeller. I see. Uh, may also ought to call the police by successfully fixing the phone box and dialing please. Cancel will start that is visible to all players. Uh, counselors may run to one of the exits to immediately escape from Jason. Uh, remember though, Jason can become aware of the police and will be able to kill you before you can escape. Alright. Uh, CB radio, yep. Alright, let's see which one's the highest stack, because I completely forgot. Uh, that would be... I would have to go with either the axe. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the axe. It's much more better. Much more powerful, too. That and the lead pipe. But what the hell is that, a stick? There's like plank, wooden bat. Is that a stick? What the hell? God damn. This is nuts. Okay, so axe and a lead pipe. Those are the two one of the most badass things ever. Okay. Uh radios windows are a quick and easier way for counselors to enter and exit the building. Jumping through in a hurry or going through broken glass will cause damage to a Oh, okay. So be sure to open the window before vaulting over. Okay, so it kind of sucks. Oh, did they go in the room already? <laughs> oh boy. All right. Who else is here? Unless. Oh shit! Am I the only person here? I will pick Jason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. This is not good. Oh. Oh, I get to pick a freaking house? <gasps> this is amazing. Okay. Uh. Higgins Haven Small. I might close out and then go back in to see if anyone is playing at all. And quick play. Come on, come on, search for the room. Search for the room. Any sessions to do. Spawn preference. I still don't get the default. Wait, did I actually just join a room? Hey, it did. Okay. Okay. Oh. So, uh, it's five of us. Oh, six now. Since someone's joining. And. <laughs> someone's gamer ID is Jason Flores. Oh, that is hilarious. Ninja Warrior. Oh my god. This is hilarious. I have to admit. Alright. Alright. So we need three more people to check. I swear, Dead by Daylight was much faster than just waiting for a lot of people. Okay, stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop, Dr. Midnight. No. Uh, Billy. You're gonna keep doing that. You... Okay. Jason Voorhees. I love... I just love it when someone actually names themselves after Jason Voorhees. It's just because the leader of the lobby. Oh my god. Hey! No. 
No. Okay, one of you, two. Goes to check. There we go. One more. Come on. Man, everyone's got like their. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, man. Alright, so come on. Check. Check, please. And they're not gonna check. Well, son of a bitch. Oh, they did! Woohoo! Stop picking the map. Ooh, Crystal Lake. That's a good map. We're going back to Crystal Lake. Camp Forest? Is that what it's like? Huh. Alright, so. Wait, what? But I just pressed the options button. <laughs> it just got everyone checked. Oh, that's hilarious. I love that. Right. Dab on it. Ran Sands. Jason Floorkeys. Dr. Midnight. Rari Sign. Ninja Warrior. Which one of you is going to be Jason, huh? Really? The game? You had to take that long? Oh my god. Alright. Alright. Come on near. Come on near. What the fuck is happening? Language? Okay. Okay, fortify this. And open up that. Although, I have to admit, there are a lot of advantages. Really? Uh, is he near me? I'm guessing he's near. <coughs> near me. No map whatsoever. I wish it was like, oh look at that, I found gas. Hey, I found a map. What are the oh. odds? Uh, no. Still using that. Is there anything else, like a spray med? Nope. Did I just, am I? Oh no, that's actually the hair. I was like, am I bleeding? Alright, well, which... Okay, I think... Jason? Yeah, they're over there. What the hell just happened? Sorry, buddy. Okay. Oh. I kind of feel bad for leaving that guy out there. Oh shit! 
Bye bye, Jason. Holy shit! It was over there. Oh no! I gotta hide. Oh shit! I can't even see anything. Are you kidding me? I can't see shit. This is where the real horror begins. <laughs> Hot, don't waste your bullet. Don't waste your bullets. Okay. Move, dude. What is he trying to do? Okay. That one's already open. Okay, so there's gas over here. Back over here. Oh, he actually teleported. Which actually gives me a good opportunity. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure I'm screwed. Okay, I think I might be near it. Holy shit, is that a dead body? Oh my god, it is. Alright, so I'm gonna head for the car. And then probably by myself escape. Okay, don't do that. Jeez. Alright, so we gotta fill up the tank. Okay, get battery two. God damn it. Okay. Hope Got I'm that doing in. this right. Me too. Oh shit. So there's a Oh shit. He's in there. I think that's where the battery is. I think so. I mean, I'm... Oh, oh shit. God. What happened? Okay. Oh shit. I can't do that? That's bullshit. Oh yeah, he is stuck. He's definitely stuck. But it's like, I can't crouch for some unknown reason. Oh, I can't do anything now. Oh, uh, what's happening? Can I not do anything anymore? Oh. God damn it. I hate it when that happens. Oh my god. Well, I just got kicked by my own internet. God damn it. Ah, uh, boy. That sucked. I don't know why, but it sucked. But I think I want to try my virtual cabin just to see if I got anything else because apparently this game is kicking me out for no reason. All, all because my internet sucks. 
And I'm complaining again about my internet. So, ah, uh, hey, look at that. Oh my god, that is freaky. What are you doing here? Oh my god, what the hell is this? Double vision. Actress Camila Moore auditioned for the role of Samantha when the filmmakers discovered that she had a twin sister. Carrie, they offered them both the Foxy roles of Tina and Terry. This is not the first time Camilla and Carrie has acted together. The both having already starred in Double Mint Gun commercials. <sighs> I did not know that. I did not know that. Okay, what's this? I cannot see shit. Oh well. Um... Okay. <laughs> Just, um, okay, so these are really good pictures. These are must be the development team. Hi, I didn't see you there, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I am so freaked out now. Ooh. Alright. Now if I remember correctly from playing other games, there are just sometimes Nope. That what was the part about working on the game oh for sure the phone calls okay sorry um that was great can you start over but this time incorporate the question into your answer uh, my bad yeah so the creepiest part about working on this game was i get these weird phone calls to my personal phone we worked on the game for almost i think it was about three years and every single friday the 13th we would get these calls from someone at first i thought it was someone at the studio Paul or Dan or something, but it had to be like an F-13 fanboy or something. They would use this voice distortion and claim to be Pamela warning us to honor the memory of her son. Sometimes they would just laugh in the phone and hang up, but, but most of the times they would just, you know, complain about the game taking so long. That doesn't sound that creepy. It wasn't until one time I called the number back and heard this. That is creepy. I would hate to actually make a game and hear that. Oh my god, that would be so freaking creepy. Waste of budget, of course. And just like, okay, um, what we just? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm pressing as much as I can. Okay, so apparently I got. Nothing right now. Uh, oh my god. Uh, back to the teams of family. Uh, the character of Jessica Kimball is the daughter of Diana Kimball, who is a half sister of Jason Voorhees. Uh, to the success of the first movie, Frank Mancuso. Uh, SR, the CEO of Paramount Pictures, wanted to make the franchise into a serial with each movie having a different story. Is reportedly Phil Scuderi. Steve. I don't know how to pronounce these last names, but I'll just say uh, Phil, Steve, and Bob, who insisted that the sequel have Jason Voorhees. Oh, wow. The role of Ali, a tough member of a local biker gang, was played by an actor named, appropriately enough, Nick Savage. It's a rough movie for Ali. His bike is damaged, his friends are killed, and he gets his arm chopped off before being hatcheted to death. In an alternate ending, he survives that the footage, like Ali himself, was cut. Uh, okay. I, that almost sounds too creepy. But, holy shit. Jason Voorhees slain. He and the cast believed part four to be the final Friday film. Not only was the title the final chapter, the script called for Jason's head to be split open in the final kill. Even Harry, uh, mus Harry's musical cue for the final scene was named La Muerta de Jason. Wow. This is bunch of stuff holy shit 
But would they actually go for like, I don't know, part four? Mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, are they talking about the fourth film? Like, that was supposed to be called the final chapter? Like, that is just so weird. Like, if they did... It was supposed to be uh, Jason Goes to Manhattan or something like that. Uh, Jason Takes Vancouver. Call for a chance to win a free cruise. I think that was actually for... The fourth one, if I remember, the fourth one was supposed to be in Manhattan, or Jason takes Manhattan. But what the hell? A long night at Camp Blood? Jeez. The screenplay for the original Friday the 13th was initially titled A Long Night at Camp Blood. Yeah. I've heard about that one. That was so. Uh. The bird cage. Uh, what? The Jason and War from the Friday the 13th franchise. Coming soon. Uh, do they really want me to? Oh my god. It's still so weird. Uh, Jane Paul, Sartre, no exit. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, so. Am I missing anything here? Because I have. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm missing anything. Pressing every button to make sure I don't miss anything or if I have something in my inventory. Yep. Uh huh. Radio to call Tommy Jarvis. Throughout the series, uh, Harry's iconic key, 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 ma, ma, ma has been used to underscore Jason's presence. In part five, this sonic moniker is subverted. Tommy Jarvis, driven mad by hallucinations of Jason, rises from his hospital bed as the VO whispers, key, 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 ta, ta, ta. As he opens the drawer to see the hockey mask waiting for him, Key is for kill and ta, uh, and ta for Tommy. Oh my god. That is just so nuts. Oh my god. It's, uh, well, I can't look at the other ones. Call them anything that's perhaps most adoringly the Sultan of Splatter. Oh my god. Dead Running and Hobbs gave the rationale for the adulation. This way people always say there's a million ways you can slice a throat, but only one right way, and that's Havini, Savini's way. <laughs> What's his way? He's going from right to left? This is brutal. Six. Oh my god. Spirit's accounts are in the fits. Oh my god! That reminds me of Final Destination 5 where that one guy just got pulled right in the face. Like, oh my god, it's just it is just too brutal just to watch. Game development. Okay. Alright, so uh so apparently nothing in here that I know of. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. Veteran Jason actor Kane Hodder plays three roles in Jason Goes to Hell. Not only does he play the Tyler character, Hodder also plays a security guard who mocks Jason in the gloved hat, who grabs the hockey mask in the final shot of the movie. Oh my god. That is brilliant! And I didn't even notice that. Oh my god. Counselor? There's a lot of counselors that these people had. Oh my god, there is so many. Maybe these are P 
people from the original uh, Friday the 13th. Check for update. Uh, I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, so did you want to do an intro? Uh, hello. Welcome to the Virtual Cabin. I'm Chuck Brengard, CEO of Ilphonic, and we are the developers behind Friday the 13th, the game, which you are currently playing now. Thanks. Is there anything you want to say to the fans? Sure. I just want to say thanks for playing and supporting the game. Our fan base has been incredible. This project has exceeded even our wildest dreams, and that's because of all your continued and amazing support. So where are we? So this is the Virtual Cabin, 2.0 to be exact. The Virtual Cabin was a way for our backers to check out new art assets and discover a few hidden Easter eggs as we were building the game. It was a really engaging way to show a sneak peek at what we were developing. So, why bring it back? A ton of work went into researching the Friday the 13th films for the game, and we wanted to present a fun way to go behind the scenes and learn more about how the movies and the game were made. Consider this as an expanded virtual museum. A space mm. where you can explore the lore of Friday the 13th and take it all in. Who knows? There might even be a few new Easter eggs to discover. If you go digging deep enough... <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean for that to sound so ominous. Uh, okay? I guess? I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. What? What? Oh, uh, the script for Jason Goes to Hell is exceptional in that not a single teenager was called for in the script. Damn. Uh, for late contact, uh, death penalty, stay away from hell. J. Cons killed killers. The end. Uh, there's also a television series, a comic book miniseries, and four novels to date. Oh, so there was... I never knew about that. Like, I didn't know there was a comic book series. I've already seen that one. I didn't know that there was a television series, unless it, it's saying, like, it's a... Uh, Like, I didn't know there was a television series. I didn't know there was, you know, novels, uh, comic books. I really didn't know about that. But the TV series? Really? Who actually thought about that? Many as in, Jason has menaced several diners throughout the series. This menu, this menu is inspired by the diner in Part 5. Another diner in Jason Takes Manhattan. It features... Jason Brissing and hunting Renee and Sean. A large cook attempts to thwart the killer before being picked up and thrown into a mirror. That cook was six foot seven inches. Stuntman Ken Kruzinger, who would go on to play Jason in another film. Oh! But did he? Not sure. That's a lot. Julius and Jason's boxing match in Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, was scripted to take place in Madison Square Garden, but for budgetary reasons ending up taking place on our roof in Vancouver. The boxing scene, however, was not lacking for effort. Actor Vincent Gregg Dupree, who played Julius, was really punching Kane hotter with all his might. When it was Jason's turn, he punched Julius' head off, sending it flying into a dumpster. Damn, that must have been the, uh, one of the kills for Jason. The mythos of Jason lies somewhere between the natural and the supernatural. He is a man who can be cut and killed, but is also a boy who survived drowning. In one telling, his immortal dark heart switches hosts. In another, he is a winnable adversary. Like a good campfire story, the definite, definitive truth is always just out of reach. Nobody knows what could happen. Uh, sorry lady, but I'm gonna have to check every... Um... Okay. So, what's this? Red bandana. Anything else? No? How you doing? <laughs> okay, still not warm up, but... Uh... What? Oh 
my god! They rise from the grave. That is just so weird looking. In part three, Debbie and Andy played by Tracy Savage and Jeffrey Rogers. Canoodle in their hammock. After returning from a shower, Debbie lounges with a Fangoria magazine. Fangoria magazine. She flips past an article about Tom Savini, the man behind many of the classic Friday special effects. And luckily for her, Jason was hiding with a knife beneath the hammock. Oh my god, that is just brutal. While arming himself for his fight with Jason, Time Drivers purchased three books in part six. Jason lives 30 years among the dead, the dead are alive, and a manual of occultism. Okay. Oh, a blue cap, look at that. Okay, so. Uh, I might change the date. Let's change it to. to uh, uh, I, I don't know what was the 13th. What happens if I actually go. Oh, it goes only to. Okay. Uh, I feel like there's something different about this place. I really don't know. Okay. Kind of feels weird. How are you boys doing? Kind of, uh, whatever you're drinking beer? Okay. Alright, so, what? Duty. N. Wow. It's, uh, nighttime duty for that. Uh, lost again. Uh, what? I had a difficult time receiving an R rating from the Motion Picture Association of America. x was only a volume once 48 seconds as had been trimmed. One scene that raised the IR of sensors, particularly, was the murder scene of Jeff and Sandra impaled by a sparrow while having sex in a bed. Well, thanks for sharing. That's <laughs> uh, uh, not. I know that you can actually pick up stuff like. Yeah, like this one. Who would have thought you could pick up stuff like that, but it's not going to move. Can't pick up that. Tommy Jarvis's desk. Is one of the few recurring protagonists in the series showing up in three movies. Um, by played by three different actors. Young Tommy's interest in masks serves as a homage to Tom Savini. Huh. That's a little weird. I guess. Nothing there. Is there anything in here? Anything I can use? Is that a picture you're holding, Bunny? Uh, okay. So. Nothing so far. And it's impossible to crouch. Okay. So there's nothing to collect here. Uh, yeah, there is nothing here. <sighs> All right, well, that was fun. That was fun, but we found nothing. Who'd have thought? All right, so let's just go for one more match in this game. If it takes me out of the game, and I swear to God, I will go to Dead by Daylight right away. It will suck. And there it is again. That's going to keep up. It really is going to suck. It's just going to be annoying for the whole day, probably. Alright. Alright. 
All right, come on, can two. Check off, or check, 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 me. Thank you. It is that random, damn. Oh, we're gonna have a good time. Radios and firecrackers can be used. Ah. Uh, Higgins Haven. Do we just already go there? All right. Oh, here it comes, Jason. Oh my God, the head turn. It's the head turn that just disturbs me. Oh my God. Okay. I have to do something. I have to escape. Okay. Go in here. We open this. Fortify this. And what's this? <gasps> okay, let me see here. Oh, if Jason steps on that, he is done for. Well, not really done for, but it's like more he's going to be trapped and stuck. Whew. And we found a map. Alright, so we got... Can I see two boats? Uh, what the hell is that on the water? Must be a lighthouse or something. Okay, I see a hat. It's a nice hat. What else do we get? <gasps> Firecrackers! This will be good. Okay, so I can just distract Jason with that. I'm going to grab this. Just in case I find anything else. <gasps> A med spray? Huh. This is helpful. Uh, really, dude? By the way, there's a trap here. Don't go to it. A... Oh, yeah. Just watch, Jason might come through that. I think. Okay, now I'm not quite sure. Oh my god. He is just right there. Oh shit. I almost forgot this one. So when he comes in, we're gonna book it. No! What the hell? That was for Jason. There we go. No. Okay. Oh boy. We are out of here. Bye bye. Oh my god. That sucked. How the hell did he get in? I didn't hear him. Yeah, good job. You, uh. Need some help there? You need something? Is that a fire poker? <gasps> it is a fire poker. Okay, so um yeah, we're screwed. Did anyone bother to? Yeah, good job. Gotta open these. Just in case we escape. Oh, what were you hitting? Okay. 
Okay, I don't see him anywhere. The hell was that? Oh, he is good. Yep, he ain't gonna do that. Oh my god, he's using a machete. Okay, bye bye. Oh, this one's barred. Or not barred. Oh, this guy's gonna follow me. But that's okay, I'm fine with that. Bar that one up. Bring that one up. That one's barred, okay, so that's good. I don't need that one. Is anyone there? This is not a prank. We need your help. Jason is killing us. We need your help. Jason's alive. Please help us. Tommy Jarvis called. <laughs> what? What the hell were you just... Okay, so apparently... The guy playing Jason Voorhees, he's gonna come after us. Not sure how, but... Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. Uh, I'll go where the others are. It's safer there. Okay. 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 Yep, that's not good. The hell was that? <laughs> okay. Escape using Oh Okay, so we're all alive somehow. Okay, so the police will arrive. Uh oh, someone actually. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Somebody just escaped. Of course. Oh! Whoever escapes is gonna come back as Tommy Jarvis. So now we're gonna run through here because I believe that's a safe place. At least that's what I am told. Or not. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna find me. Alright, he is. They? Uh, okay, so I found, I'm going to suck at this so much. <laughs> yeah, I actually fend off Jason. How do you like them apples? Okay, that's not it. I can't. I always have a feeling that Jason is going to get us, no matter where we come out of. 
Or this way. Um, uh, is this? Okay, someone did call the police. Alright. So they fixed the... Oh, where did it come from? I don't know where. Because I didn't see shit. Oh shit, yep. There he is. How you doing? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh god. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Oh no. I can't see shit. I don't see anything. Oh my god, I am gonna run. I'm out. I'm out. No! 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 Oh no. I, oh, I forgot the firecrackers. Why did I forget? Of course. Okay, so my my stamina. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Okay. okay. We're gonna head off here, since I'm not sure if Jason might be stalking someone else. <gasps> yes. Okay. 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 Oh, come on. God, this stamina thing is just... It is nuts. Oh yeah, sure. Jason has nothing to worry about. I escaped. <laughs> Everyone else is alive. I survived! Alright. Let's see how everyone else does. Oh, he's not in good shape. Oh, everyone else is like, it's it's for your life, man. <laughs> oh. Get out of there. Oh. oh, he had the pocket knife. That's good. Oh, hurry. Get to the fog. Oh, they're both out. Nice. Also, the were... Wait, what happened to the other one? I completely did not see. Oh, I've never seen this part. So what happened to everyone? Oh, level 13! <gasps> Public health! 
unscathed. Seek and destroy to affix it. Oh. Maybe it's like a different Jason and a different type of ending scene. But that. Oh my god. Alright. Now, let's hope this stream keeps on going because I'm going to switch over to Dead by Daylight. Okay. Let's keep on going. 